Hey guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today we're going to show you how to access your computer remotely using your Nexus 5. Now this soft mod requires a little initial setup on the computer that you want to have remote access to, and to get that going with download links and a more complete guide, head on over to the link in the description right below this video. But for now, we'll start by opening Google Chrome browser for PC, then heading to the Chrome Web Store. We'll search for Chrome Remote Desktop, and this top result here is the one that we want. Go ahead and click Add, and then a little window with your Chrome apps will pop up, and you can see Remote Desktop's installation progress. Once that's complete, click the icon, and we'll do a little initial setup. First, click the Continue button to authorize Chrome Remote Desktop. Then on this next screen, hit Accept. From this list that says My Computers, click the Get Started button. It tells you that you have to enable remote connections first, so click that button on the right. From here, enter in a PIN that you can remember, and then hit Enter. Click OK, and then you're all set on the computer side of things. On the phone side of things, we'll grab the Chrome Remote Desktop app from the Play Store. And once you've got that installed, let's open it up and check it out. First up, you'll see a list of the computers that you've set up. So tap the one that you want to connect to, and it'll ask for the PIN that you created earlier. I've set up a temporary one on mine for demonstration purposes, so I'll go ahead and type that in real quick. And then you can tick this box if you don't want it to ask for your PIN each time you do this. Now hit Connect, and you'll be shown your computer's display. Here you can slide your finger around to move the cursor, and you can pinch to zoom just like other Android apps. This keyboard button brings up your Android keyboard, which will type in any selected text field on the PC. When you're ready to close this connection, hit this menu button and tap disconnect. But again, for a more complete guide, hit the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time guys, but until then, happy soft modding!